Hello, Appalachian Living Family. So my son goes to the library during the summer. Um, he's seven. And Miss uh, Bridget is the one that um, does the library, uh, the reading and the programs. And she does a wonderful job. So this week, he has here's some suggestions that they have. And one's read a book about camping, which that was the theme that Miss Bridget read on Thursday. And then... We we like this one. It says, read a cookbook and make one of the recipes. So, <laughs> you know it. And he chose Baby Got Back Ribs. So, I am so glad that we have all the ingredients because I'd be really sad if we didn't. And luckily, I picked up three packs of um, ribs from Aldi's when we went last week and this one only needs two racks so we're gonna bring you all along for the journey hello guys we are back so I have Troy here with me and these are our ribs so the first thing that you have to do is get the membrane off which you can get a butter knife or just a regular knife but I have a paring knife here you just want to make a slit big enough, if I can, to get, I actually may be able to grab here, um, your fingers into, and then pull. So give me just a minute, because I just got these out of the fridge. Alright, so there we go. What are you doing, Troy? I don't know. I just found this weird thing. Okay, so this is part of his like, library stuff for the summer. Is reading from a cookbook and then choosing a recipe to make. So usually I don't struggle getting the membrane off this bad, but this one's fine me. <laughs> Come here, you... So getting the membrane off keeps it nice and tender. We finally got the membrane off of that one. Sorry about that, guys. I went to turn the camera off, and I actually flipped it. So it went the other way. All right, so I'm going to get in here. There we go. And I'm at an odd angle, so I can try not to get in your guys' way. And now we need to make, I guess, the dry rub. So it's right here. And we need to start out and put three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. This is light brown sugar in a bowl. So these are quarter cups. I need three of them, Troy. All right, put it in the bowl. Alright, let's do another one. One. Why is it like that when it's cold? Because it's packed. It's like a cookie. Alright, two. And then three. I'm glad that we had enough. I was worried we wouldn't. Mine was two. Alright, put that in the bowl. Three. And then we need one tablespoon of paprika. And we're going to use, yeah, you can. We're going to use this uh, smoked paprika. It has a very good flavor. So one tablespoon. Troy, do you want to smell it? What's it smell like? It smells like those baked chips. Baked chip. Kinda. The barbecue chips? Yeah, it kind of does. Kinda it kind of smells spicy, too. All right, you want to put that tablespoon in there? All right, tablespoon of garlic powder. I need that. Okay. And this is... I mean, it, it's all good. What do you want that? Garlic powder. Do you want to smell it? What's it smell like? <laughs> Not very like good. It. I don't like it. It tastes though. good. So this is like a dry rub. Okay, you want to put that in there? It smells worse than bad. No. Okay, one teaspoon of cracked black pepper. So this is it right here. And I always struggle getting this open. You don't want to smell this, Troy. It'll make you sneeze. It is. It's pepper. Like just pe regular old pepper. Like the All right pepper, here you go. Put that in there. The pepper that's on that. Right. 
calling for a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, I know. Salt adds flavor. All right, put that in there. And then it also calls for one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're not going to do that because it would make it too hot for little man here to eat. So now we are going to stir it together. All right, try mix it up. What do you think? You think that's good? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe? Okay. Alright, then it wants us to coat both sides of the pork with that. Alright. Alright, so we've got out here a cookie sheet or a baking sheet with some aluminum foil. Troy wants to put the seasonings on the pork ribs. So, Troy, what did you do before you start cooking? What do you do to your hands? Wash them. You wash your hands, right. Okay. You want to go ahead and put some of the seasoning on? Okay. That's so weird. Yeah, it does feel weird. Does it feel like sand? It feels like kinetic sand. Kinetic sand? Mm -hmm. While you do that, I'm going to rub it in. Mm -hmm. Alright, whoops, sorry guys, we've got this side, so, oh boy, we are oh, going to flip it, alright Troy, go ahead. Make sure you get it on the pork, okay? okay. By a good amount. Like a good handful because you're going to use half of it on this pack of ribs and then the other half on the other ribs. Get over in here too. Nice and flavorful. It smells good, don't it? It does. Alright, Mike. That's a lot. Okay, so now what we're going to do, this one looks pretty good. We're going to wrap this up and guys, our oven is preheating. And it's at 300 degrees. So we're going to wrap that up. And then we're going to go and get our next one. Alright, Troy is sprinkling the second rack of ribs. And we're going to rub this in. So, Troy is making his dad and I's anniversary dinner. We have been married. Troy, keep it on the ribs. We have been married for 23 years. Okay, we're going to flip it. Hopefully this one won't stick too bad. Oh, goodness you. Okay, there we go. Just use all of it on here. There you go. That smells so good. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. This is amazing. And this made the right amount of coating, too. Or dry rub. Is it too much? I think we made a little bit too much. It's okay. Of it. How much is in there? Uh, not much, but a lot, kind of. Okay. Alright, let me stop right there, Troy. We'll put it on the other one. Alright, let's wrap oh. this one up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can wash your hands. Alright, then we're going to pop these in the oven. And it says uh, to place the ribs in the oven and roast for one and a half to two hours. Beginning at your one and a half hour, you're going to check for doneness. And Snoop Dogg says the meat is ready when it's tender and easy to pull away from the bone. Alright family, we actually had to cook ours for about two to two and a half hours. And so Snoop says to place the broiler on. Yes, I did that right. We'll figure it out. And then to smother it in a good, rich, thick sauce. But I wanted you guys 
look at that is that not gorgeous so we are using sticky fingers it is so good but oh my lord is it pricey I don't know why you gotta be surprised that he's sticky but I think he recommends like a different barbecue sauce but really you know Snoop Dogg he seems so awesome so cool that he's probably like use whatever sauce you like <laughs> Oh, and I almost forgot, you need to, but um, before you put the sauce on, you need to drain the liquid from your packets. Put a little more foil, and it wants you to leave them in the foil and put it underneath the broiler. And as you can tell, I cut into these. And... I found something interesting online today. So, Snoop Dogg and his wife have the same anniversary as my husband and I. I think it said they were married in 1997. And my husband and I were married in 2001. My husband was in the Marine Corps when we got married. All right. And this was the only barbecue sauce I had, so I felt bad. I was like, no way, normally I have more than this. Okay. And let me see how long to put them in the broiler for. It says 10 minutes. I think that's awfully long, but we'll check it out. They are done, and they look delicious. They look burnt on screen, but they are a beautiful golden, almost burgundy brown color. The camera just does not do the ribs justice.